Hello, and welcome back to Bigfoot Finders, a look back, looking back at finding Bigfoot. Joining us in the studio today, previously fictional monster, Bigfoot. Bigfoot, can you walk us through what you've been up to since you were finally captured? I don't know, I've just been uh, living on top of a gorge, you know, uh, stealing campers' food, scaring their women. Been burying my own shit a lot, you know, so people don't find me. Been doing that a whole bunch. You know, but uh, just been up there in the forest. Phenomenal story. Sven, you and your camera crew found Bigfoot in the thrilling last four minutes of the big series finale. Can you walk us through that? Yes, we found the Bigfoot. I had called my wife and I said, hey, I found the Bigfoot. He's very smelly and also I'm gay as a rainbow dipped in milk chocolate. So I'm leaving you because I cannot leave this lie anymore. And then she was like, oh no, I'm pregnant. And then I ruined another life, you know, so that's... Can you walk us through what it was like when you discovered him? Oh, what was going through my head? Yes, I was thinking I am very hungry for the tiny burgers. So we went to the White Castle. And there he was. Okay, Mr. Squatch, what was your reaction? Well, you know, uh, I always eat at White Castle because that's one of the few places I can go and not be recognized because everyone who goes there is a big, hairy, fat, disgusting monster. He was hiding in plain sight. <laughs> <laughs> so me and the squirrels and the other woodland creatures, we had a big laugh about that. You know, uh, oh, I, and I, um, I also came out as well. Yeah, I'm the first openly gay Bigfoot. And I'm really in the tiny, hairless Asian men. And uh, so, you know, it's just a, uh, put me on a plane, put me in a boat, send me to Indochina, let me meet somebody, let me find another man who unsuspectingly will get caught in the grasp of my thorny, I'm trailing off here. You know, but I'm just living in the forest all by myself. I had a beehive last week, so uh, there's that. We have a question from the audience. Yo, big food. Why your feet so big? <laughs> you know it, girl. <laughs> Just trying to accept who I am and how God made me this monster. It's Just really. Sven, how long did it take you to discover Bigfoot? Oh, we found the Bigfoot immediately, Gil. The Bigfoot wrote most of it. Yeah, he's yeah. a great writer. Thank God oh, we brought him on for the show. Yeah, he wrote uh, episode 7, 12, 13, and the uh, Easter special. The Easter special, which was both touching and hilarious. Yeah, I sent them my uh, spec script for a uh, modern family and they like that. I use a pseudonym when I write a Harry Mantle. And, uh, you know, I got a credit in there somewhere even though I haven't seen a check. You know, but, uh, oh, but uh, if I could take a moment to talk about my screenplay that I've been writing, it's called Big Gay Bigfoot Goes to San Francisco to Find a Tiny Hairless Asian Husband. And basically, uh, I know it's a long title, but basically what it is, it's me, I play myself, I play Bigfoot, and I'm gay, and I'm having a good time, and I go out to San Francisco, and I go out and I just start meeting men, meeting little Asian guys, you know, and then we just, just going at them, just constant, constant sex. Sometimes a bunch of them and just me, you know, it's a great time. And, uh, you know, I've been shopping around a bunch of studios. I, I sent it over to Lionsgate and they gave me a bunch of notes back. And the first, the big note was, they said, basically what you gave us was hardcore pornography with a tiny Asian man and a big monkey man crypto creature. And, you know, so I took that note, you know, but I still think that there's a market for that. I think that that is something that people want to see. I ate a tennis ball. Swallow that hole. And what's next for you, Sven? Oh, I'm going to a party lady dressed as a disco ball. Also, we're going to try and find the Loch Ness Monster next. Yeah, he, uh, he got in touch with me, sent me a few spec scripts, and, uh, you know, uh, we really think we're going to kick it off soon. Um, we've got a few projects underway already. Uh, we've got uh, the Loch Ness Monster goes to camp. Uh, the Loch Ness Monster learns to read, and uh, the Loch Ness Monster scared stupid. So these would be based on... The Ernest films, yeah, he's a big fan. Oh, also, we're going to go international with the Bigfoot Finders as well. Yeah, they're gonna, they're, they're flying me out to Gay Peru. I'm gonna eat some croissants and some shea shea bapoto. And then, uh, you know, we're gonna go, I'm gonna eat, have some antipasti in Province, Italy. And then uh, I'm gonna meet up with my Yeti friend, and we're gonna go to uh, Japanese internment camps in Idaho. And we're gonna look around and we're gonna talk about what it means for him to be Japanese and for me to be American monster. You know, a bunch of big fake unrealistic things like that. Well, that's another mystery solved by television.